Well, Nashville hockey legend passed away this week. Mike O'Neill was a hockey player, a ref, a coach who dedicated years to the sport and to the players, too. News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry has more on how the Nashville hockey community is giving back to honor his legacy. One, two, three for Mike O'Neill. Even in the most trying situations, he had a smile on his face. He was always there for the extra effort. He was uh, kind of number one in, in this part of the country, certainly around here. Mike O'Neill dedicated 30 years of his life to the rink and to hundreds of hockey players throughout the Southeast. His family says as a kid, from the moment O'Neill could walk, he skated. O'Neill went on to work the adult hockey league games at Centennial Sportsplex for over 25 years. He refereed high school travel and house league games all throughout Tennessee. O'Neill was also part of the National Hockey League off-ice crew for the Predators home games. When you get out into uh, the hockey community in Nashville, I think probably everybody at some point has had Mike work one of their games. He had a smile on his face and that diffused a lot of angry people at times because you try to yell at him and he just... But in 2020, O'Neill was diagnosed with colon cancer that progressed to his liver. Doctors told him he had a year left to live four years ago. He, has, he likes to prove people wrong when it comes to things like this. Uh, uh, he battled and went through a lot of chemo. But his family and friends tell me cancer is not going to stop O'Neill from getting back on the ice to support his community. I spoke with him about, hey, you want me to take you off the schedule while you're going through treatment? And, uh, you know, he's just, no, I, I, I like being at the rink. He was still at the rink, he was still refereeing, and then a few days later we get word that he's no longer with us. On Sunday, after a hard-fought battle against cancer, O'Neill passed away, surrounded by family. Now the community is giving back to honor his legacy. He's just a, a good guy, and good guys need to be taken care of. He's amazing. He taught me so much about being a good referee. In less than 24 hours, the GoFundMe page has raised over $20,000. All the funding will go to paying off medical and funeral expenses. Family and friends will also be hosting a memorial during the 10 a.m. open rink session on Sunday at the Centennial Sportsplex in his honor. He needs to be. He needed to be here a lot longer. In Nashville, Caitlin Quisenberry, News 2.